sleeved up. Page of Pentacles, conversation, thinking about an idea in a very practical manner, very systematic manner. I see planning, I see making plans. There's something concrete in your hands and I see you are satisfied with that. Nine of Cups under the deck, some wishes coming through. For a lot of you, I see there is a passion which has not been explored till now. It's time to go after your passions and fetch your dreams. There has been some drastic changes I'm picking up in your life. Tower moment. We're going to come back to them. What's that? And things just, uh, I see shattered, faulty foundations shattered, overdone. You're free to explore passions and you are beautiful. Nine of Cups. Definitely looking for new opportunities. And for some of you, I see conversations surrounding taking things forward. I see very stable outlook to something. This is coming towards you. Pages are conversations and messages coming towards you, right? First card out, Knight of Wands. <laughs> for a lot of you, Libra, I see you on the horse. And uh, maybe you're coming from a phase in your life where you're not ready to settle and you want to explore the field. For a lot of you, uh, you might be dealing with somebody who has been in and out of your life. And I see this person wants to swiftly come back in. And uh, for a lot of you, this is the place where you're coming from. So yeah, for someone specific, I'm picking up that this energy was wishy-washy since beginning. I see um, you're definitely hearing from this person this week. So message is coming in. Somebody has been wishy-washy uh, and in and out of your life. This person is definitely passionate, but it's very hard for a knight of wands to settle down. You know, they keep on just because they are actively on the horse. It's active movement, right? It's very hard for this person to settle. And two of pentacles is showing me that uh, you look at this energy and you feel what? You know, there's a struggle to make a decision. Things, things were not stable. Two of pentacles, there was a struggle. There was something that you have to choose. And this is you, Libra. Uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius energy here, Queen of Swords. For some of you, I see somebody has caused a lot of struggle in your life because this person has been really imbalanced and wishy-washy. This definitely is connection, which is strong. Uh, the fo forbidden fruit I heard for somebody. Okay. <laughs> forbidden love, forbidden fruit. Oh, what is this? I don't know what it has to do with this. But anyways, we're going to come back to it. I see you decided to set boundaries. Whatever this energy was, I see this is coming from history, right? This is the past energy. Somebody has been really wishy-washy in and out, like a player. I don't know if they were actually a player, we're going to clarify. But this person has caused a lot of struggle, a lot of indecision in your life. And there came a moment when you were like, okay, I need to set boundaries here. I cannot take it anymore. Right, so this is I, I'm picking up some kind of storyline uh, coming from the past, and you have definitely detached yourself from this energy, or at least you have uh, reached a point where you want to make practical decisions and not emotional decisions. Right, ten of wands, interesting. There's a baggage, and it's time. Anything that was faulty was meant to fall down. Anything that was unhealthy, faulty, that was causing load. Okay, I see the tower moment. So, uh, Libra, there is an energy here where this is you. This is you. This is very much your energy here. You have decided to balance the scales now, right? <clears throat> You've decided to balance the scales. And anything that was faulty, that was burdening you, that was not letting you move forward, because of the baggage, you were not able to, you know, actively move forward. I see this tower moment is helping you just helping you to disintegrate the faulty foundations of your life and you are definitely coming in the justice mode. Babe, you're tough. And if you have not been strict with somebody who has been taking you for granted or who has been, um, you know, being, has been very casual in your life, I see you setting boundaries now. And this is going to cost our moment for somebody. Ace of Cups, I see new opportunities coming your way. New opportunities in love. Hermit. I see there are a lot of questions on your mind whether you're ready for new beginning or you should just focus on self-love because things have been disappointing lately. And you've been running away from short-lived passions. I see there were situations which were more or less passion-based or short-term. I don't really see they inspire you anymore. 
and uh, something that was a baggage something this ha that that has been uh, a very inconsistent energy of your life and that has caused a lot of struggle for you you're deciding that this faulty thing has to break down and justice has to be established so you're setting boundaries definitely i see you in that mode where you're setting boundaries not taking bs king of cups somebody's in love and this person is going to put okay well there's a power struggle going on libra is it so this can suffice you scorpio this person has love for you water energy or very compassionate water love energy here four of four of cups uh, this is somebody who has really dissatisfied you yeah i see you're running away from this energy four of pentacles here this person is putting a fight here libra this person has been really inconsistent in, in your life then for a lot of you i see in the near future you're going to be really confused and there's going to be a big conflict on your mind surrounding a water sign and if this is not the same person now you know it doesn't have to i see you've been dealing with an in inconsistent energy in your life from quite some time and you've decided to part your ways from that wishy-washy energy king of cups makes me feel that something is more um nurtured now right i'm saying nurtured something has outgrown or somebody has outgrown some things and i think somebody is emotional here possibly ready for emotional confession emotional for someone specific if you're dealing with the water sign i see this person was super conflicted because there was some kind of power struggle and ego clash between you and this person uh, but i think this has caused a lot of uh, pain in your uh, something and i see five of pentacles is showing me that five of wands i'm sorry is showing me that it's time to that somebody's realizing it's time to put a fight for something right i don't know it's it's for you or against you or with you but you're going to see what's that and eventually some confession is being made so this is going to be very 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 interesting isn't it let's get more clarity on this I want to know first of all what's the knight of wands energy for libra here queen of wands definitely somebody has been wishy-washy somebody was keeping options open and there was definitely third party influences here what is this energy what happened with this energy then magician hmm manipulative took a leap of faith then somebody's apologetic of making careless mistakes here though the healing confused what is wrong here what is this nonsense what i'm sorry the message i'm getting here is vague and i don't think this is something what is this magician here star you mean a queen you're dealing with a fire sign maybe temperance For some of you, yeah, King of Wands. Okay, Sagittarius energy here. Page of Pentacles in the world. For some of you, I'm picking up somebody who's actively juggling you with somebody. And I don't see the devil here because probably nobody was committed to nobody. If that's the case, now this is very specific. You should not force it on your situation. Yeah, it has to be guilty. Like Ten of Wands twice. This person has to be guilty for what they have injured. You see, can you see that? we have the knight of wands the page of wands the two of pentacles again i see you got to know about something like that page of pentacles you tried offering stability to this person but this person was so much you know under influence of this thing here you ended a chapter what is this ten of wands what is this ten of wands energy here five of cups Somebody is carrying the guilt of regret, guilt and regret, the baggage of guilt and regret. Two of swords, now their mind is fucked up. You know, I'm picking up here that there was an influence of third party here for sure, right? For some of you, I'm not picking up toxicity here because I feel this third party was somehow trying to influence or manipulate this person. And they definitely gave it a try. 
if you are not committed to this person because i'm not i'm not picking up any commitment i rather see that you're setting boundaries here and if somebody if you were casually dating somebody and you felt that this person is really not able to settle and they are just exploring and exploring and exploring you realize that that this is not how things are going to balance to a pentacles temperance and for lot of you i see you detached yourself from this energy somebody is having some deep regrets and this baggage what is this tower energy for someone specific libra if you have been putting all the blame on you listen to me carefully if you have been putting all the blame on you surrounding the shift or the change or the ending something took place in your life do not do that because i see uh, there's somebody who has been guilty and the foundation is going the foundation was faulty and it's going to come down the tower is showing me that if there's some truth surrounding the situation that you don't know is coming out see you're going to realize that it's not you it was not your fault wow this is very specific don't don't uh don't kill me for this queen of swords see queen of swords twice justice you guys are getting the clarity libra you guys are getting the clarity that three of pentacles I i'm getting this as somebody trying to rebuild the foundation here what's your justice what's your justice five of pentacles you're going to leave this person out in cold now for a lot of you these are two different people so don't force it on your situation for some of you i'm picking up that there was a current situation that was not going well in your life i see you passionate couple here and the situation was not moving forward your connection was healing or your connection was a struggle so you just ended this thing and you started dating other people that is one storyline that i'm picking up and this can be vice versa also right but for very very specific person i'm picking up that somebody has been struggling to struggling to make a choice between two people and for someone some of the libras out there i'm picking up it's not you so you decided that this is not going anywhere what for a lot of you this was with a passionate energy and like this might not be the same person we're talking about the one who's coming in towards you in the near future i don't think what would you want to say king of cups this person has been really defensive and guarded of their heart and i see this is somebody who's been holding back their feelings for you for a very long time Six of Cups. You have history with this person. For a lot of you, if you are going through a fling, King of Cups, King of Wands, Queen of Wands, Knight of Wands, if there was a fling situation, that's getting over this week, right? And I don't think uh, you see any, um, you know, and you don't see any future there. You're setting boundaries there. Meanwhile, there is somebody who has been resisting their feelings for you, and this person is holding back. You have history with this person, Six of Cups. There's a fight here. What's the five of wands, nine of cups? Hmm. Six of swords, seven of pentacles, eight of swords. Okay. So number one message: any fling situation that has been, but you know that's not going to go anywhere. I see that situation is ending for you, right? Number two: if you have been putting the blame over yourself about an ending that happened in your life. Don't do that because some truth and clarity is going to come out, and you'll realize that you weren't that faulty. It was not your fault. Number three, there's a person who has been resisting their emotions for you for a very long time, and this person is struggling and they're trying to keep a happy face. They just don't know how to confess. They're waiting for the right time to move on from such situ some situations that are going on in their life. and they totally confused eight of swords what to do with the thing with you i see that eventually this person is going to come back and confess love to you right so these are three different storylines that i'm picking up and it's totally blew my mind off because i see there are a lot of things which are not connected you know so this can be a, another situation this can be another situation and something can be another situation crying in depression yeah for a lot of you i'm picking up that because you were healing from something in your life there was a change happening in your life you might have been talking to somebody just because yeah relax and let go because you were letting go of a situation in your life i see somebody was like a big support system and this person is definitely passionate about you it's a very strong attraction thing but it's not going to go anywhere and you know that so that's why you were just taking it casually but now you're deciding that i need to set boundaries there right 
what else is the situation committed relationship for some of you i do see there is a very important relationship in your life or there's a very important connection in your life which is like you feel abandoned by somebody and uh, there is definitely but you still have that trust that something is going to work out what is this like forgiveness and self-respect yeah is he walking away from somebody out of self-respect? What do you want to say, King of Cups? Live your passion. This person is definitely passionate about you. Passion, see? Relax and let go. Anything else? One-sided love. Well, whole Libra get to know each other. Work on your partnership. Libra, I'm picking up that there is somebody who is in one-sided love with you. And this person sees that you're going through a lot and they just want to be around you and somebody's fighting for your love. But probably this person is going to end up getting hurt because I see your, your attachment somewhere else. I don't know if it makes sense. Let me know in the comment section. I'll get you guys a bonus. I just Time to breathe out. Libra, take a break. And communication is the key. Tell honestly what you feel for people. Because there are people who are attracted to you. Who are in love with you. And they just can't get enough of you. And they're getting, and they're getting hurt here. And then there are people with whom I see it's just a fling situation. And things have been way hey with them. And you need to be honest in your conversation. And you need to set boundaries there. Like there are multiple situations going on together. Let me know in the comment section what is this. This just totally got jumbled up in my head, right? I'll leave you here. I'll get you guys a bonus. So thank you so much guys for watching. Bye.